so I made it to play after a I think it was like about 12-13 hour bus ride. So yeah, I suppose I did step basically most of the way. Um, yesterday, after we got back from Sapa, um, we got back at 3 in the morning and they kicked us off the bus straight away. So we kind of uh, went back to the hostel um, and they had no room. So I just stayed up. Um, you know, I just stayed up and organised a load of files and stuff like that and a couple of the guys uh, slept on the floor in the uh, reception so but yeah I just managed to so I wasn't tired, I slept quite well on the way back from Sapper so it was fine for me yeah now in point oh, uh, I was speaking to a couple of guys in um, just before we headed back from Sapper and uh, they stayed, they booked a tour and it sounded horrible because their homestay um, it was basically a dormitory attached to a house they had bathrooms, Wi-Fi but that's not a real homestay that's just a tourist attraction and I'm so glad that we did it the way that we did and uh, just basically went there and found someone to stay with um, it was definitely the way to do it so yeah now enjoy, gonna stay here one night, there's not a lot here and the weather's miserable as well, which is bad. Um, but it's it's raining uh, through most of it and I'll like today and tomorrow so Hello, hello! Um it's uh Yeah, so it's it's not raining too bad at the minute, on the way down it's raining really really heavy. Um so but, uh, yeah now heading to the hostel and uh Probably going to meet up with uh, Tune and Anik because they came down uh, last night as well. That they got, got on a different bus. It was so confusing when we went to the bus. Um, I said, "Oh, well, you put your luggage on." Then I got told to take my luggage off and put it in a taxi. Then I got told to put it back on again. So yeah, but I made it. Um, and yeah, I've just arrived at the hostel. So we're going to check in. Well, see if we've got a room. I think we haven't actually booked. Uh, so yeah, and then. Uh, Probably go and rent them a, um, a push bike and cycle around town and see what's about. We just checked into the hostel. Um, it was okay. They had no uh, hot water though, so I had to have a cold shower. But it's better than no shower. Um, so I'm just walking around now. Uh, I'm going to head over to the Imperial City, um, which is a big walled area on the other side of the river. Just walk down next to the river. Um, I need to find something for, I'm going to say breakfast, but it would now be brunch. So. I'm walking in the wrong direction, I think, but I'm sure there'll be stuff over the other side of the river uh, to eat, so we'll see. Yeah, so I wear the, wore the wrong shoes today, my feet are getting absolutely soaked. Um, so I just wore flip flops and I have to worry about it. But I come into the, um, uh, whatever it's called, I can't remember now, a Royal Antiquities Museum Palace thing, um, which is like uh, Imperial City, I think that's uh, the one it is anyway. Um, so yeah, just going to have a look around here for a while, it's quite big. Um, so yeah, it'll probably take me a while to get around, but it's still raining. I, I was eating lunch and or brunch, um, and I like, actually hammered it down. I was like, okay, rain's finished now, but it started raining again. So yeah, just have to grin and bear it. rain is absolutely relentless. Last time I saw rain like this was about six weeks ago in Moscow um, when I watched the military show. That's the last time I remember but I'm absolutely soaked through. 
I didn't want to go back to the hostel but there's not a lot in Hui um, so yeah I just, I just can't be bothered to walk around being soaked it just puts a damper on everything um, and plus like I keep getting water on the lens of the camera and then you can't take shots and you can't take photos and stuff like that and uh, and I've got nothing that's really dry to act like that look yeah I've got nothing dry to dry with really I've got my t-shirt but by the time I put it out from under my jacket and uh, it gets damp anyway so yeah it's so hard to get shots without getting water on the lens and stuff like that and it's just just horrible <laughs> being this damp and having to walk around like it like my feet are soaked my shorts are soaked the bag's probably soaked the only thing my head is like the only bit that's dry because I'm wearing this jacket and obviously my, my top half um, but yeah I was considering uh, renting a uh, push bike today and biking around Koi I'm so glad that I didn't because it would have been such a waste of money um, so yeah going to go back to the hostel probably grab a little bite to eat on the way back um, and just hold out there and hope that the rain stops sometime this afternoon um, I don't know what time it's now it's about half one now so I hope that it stops at some point if not it's going to be another day on my laptop which isn't such a bad thing I've got stuff to do so it's not so so bad um, but yeah I just hate the rain. It's, I've been well, I've been quite lucky because I've spoken to a few people who've done like a similar route or like a few days behind sort of thing. They've been caught out in the rain quite a few times. So yeah, I think I've been really lucky. Um, but it's supposed to. I'm going to Hoi An tomorrow. I've got the um, I organised the bus through my hostel, so it's picking up me up from my hostel. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to Hoi An tomorrow, and the weather there tomorrow looks better. Um, Hoi looks like it's going to rain for a few days, so it's good to get out of here. Yeah, I only want to spend like a day and a half here, just to uh, sort of have a look around and another stop. Um, and we'll see if I go back to the hostel. Like, I, don't, I didn't really know what was here. I just used one of my apps to like uh, look at some attractions and just came to one. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to actually properly plan Hoi An now that I've got time, or now that I'll have a, lot, a few hours. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head back to the hostel. Okay, so it's not raining anymore. Um, it has been like all afternoon, so I sat in the hostel. Um, I did a couple of videos, just done boring stuff really. Uh, now I've been out for dinner. Um, a uh, Dutch couple that I met and I've been travelling with for the last few days. Um, so yeah, I'm going to meet them for dinner. There's only around the corner. They're staying quite close to me as well. So yeah, and see them. Yeah, we've spent like an hour, hour and a half uh, talking to Tune and uh, Anik. Um, it's about travelling and stuff like that, and we ate. Um, it's so funny, like. But pretty much everyone that you meet is in exactly the same boat, they all want to travel and uh, uh, they all have something in common, it's so easy to make friends, like ridiculously easy. Um, so yeah, and it's, yeah, it's easy to just talk to people, you know. So if you're ever worried about coming alone by yourself, you're never actually alone. And literally, you meet loads of people and everyone is in the same boat, everyone wants to travel. So. So you've all got something in common to talk about your travels and where you've been and where you want to go and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's easy. Um, but dropped out to a uh, cash machine. I went back to the hostel and forgot that I needed to get cash. Um, yeah, just popped out to the cash machine. Now heading back to the uh, hostel. Um, haven't really recorded much today because I've been sat in the hostel all afternoon because of the rain. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll merge this video with tomorrow but tomorrow for all afternoon I'll be travelling to um, Hoi An uh, the bus leaves at 1 so I'll probably record tomorrow morning um, or record tomorrow and just merge these two together um, just to save it being too short 
Uh, so, good night, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Um, got up early. Well, I woke up early, I went to bed early, so. Um, yeah, I got up early and decided to come out. While the sun is shining, um, it's supposed to rain again today, didn't we? Um, so I thought I'd come out and just uh, walk around the town for a bit um, in the morning. Looks like I've got to be back to the hostel for 12 to check out, and then the bus comes at 1. So I um, thought I'd make the most of it not raining and come and see a little bit of the city, the town. the last well, couple of hours. It's so nice to, I walk completely out of the tourist zone, it's so nice to just get out of the tourist zone because it's such a big thing here, like in the tourist area. Um, it's all restaurants in English and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's just so nice to just, like, walk out and into the like, back streets and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's been in, uh, bought a pair of shorts when I was on uh, Cat Bar Island in the National Park. Um, split a pair open. So I went and bought some 100% uh, genuine um, Hollister shorts for £6. Well, no, about £5. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, real, real uh, short saver. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just uh, saves me running out of shorts too quickly. Heading back to the uh, hostel now, it's starting to turn cloudy, so I'm guessing it's going to uh, rain so, soon. Um, I'll grab something to eat just before I get on the bus, um, and check out on my hostel, and then head to uh, Huyant this afternoon. After a short trip on the bus, well, four and a quarter hours, uh, made it to Huyant. Um, bus trip was alright, I managed to get a uh, video edited. Um, that I took up like an hour or so um, and I slept a little bit so that's was alright. Uh, now walking to my hostel or hotel or I don't know quite what to call it but it's, I think it's a hotel just with uh, well, like one dorm room. Um, so yeah, it's, it's almost too easy to travel around Vietnam like coming from China where like, you don't have anyone who speaks English um, and you come here and lo literally everyone, or well, most people speak English, or you're not too far from someone who does anyway. Um, it almost seems uh, too easy, and uh, I'm not finding it as exciting as I did in China, because you know, you're alone, and you've got to find your own way around, and you've got to uh, figure stuff out and stuff like that. But here, people just chuck stuff at you, like, you can quite easily just get off the bus, hop straight in a taxi, go to your hotel, um, whereas in China, like, if you hopped into a taxi, if you didn't have a map or an address, like, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have a clue. Um, they, would, uh, they can't speak your language and stuff, or they can't speak English. Um, but yeah, so, and I'm just not finding it quite as exciting. It's still good uh, to see everything and stuff like that, but yeah, it's just not quite as exciting for me, because it's just, like I say, it seems too easy. <laughs> So checked into my hostel, uh, I've popped out to get something to eat. Uh, hostel slash hotel is kind of nice. Um, the only problem is there's only two plug sockets in the whole room, in the dorm that I'm in. So, well, charging stuff is probably going to be a bit of an arse ache. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see about that. Um, it's got a pool at the hotel. Um, which I probably won't use, I'll probably just go to the beach we're going to go for a swim, which is only a couple of kilometres out, so it's not too far. Um, yeah, just popped out to get something to eat. Now I'm going to head back and uh, go to bed, so I think I'll probably go to the beach tomorrow, have a bit of a chill day. Um, yeah, and just enjoy it really. Uh, I've now uh, got to the hotel. Um, Went in and had a shower and that and then went out uh, to see the pool and a couple of girls were there that I uh, met in Hanoi in the hospital there so it was quite funny to had a chat to them about what they've been up to. So uh, yeah, now I just popped out to get something to eat. 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done really. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you next time.